Hey techies, welcome back to part two of math calculations. So I feel like part two is more on the easier side of math. Um, it's a great refresher. Here are some of the things that we're going to be talking about. So first we're going to understand fractions and be able to compare them, express them as decimals and find the common denominator. So first we're going to do convert in fractions to decimals. So to do that, you divide the numerator by the denominator. Now we're going to talk about convert in percent to decimals. So to do that, you drop the percent sign and divide divide by 100. Then we're going to talk about converting percentage to fraction. So in order to do that, you want to drop the percent sign and place the number over 100, then reduce. And last is converting ratio to percentage. So in order to do that, you want to first express the ratio as a fraction, then convert it to a decimal, then multiply decimal by 100 and add a percent sign. So now let's go over calculations with a liquid medication. So say a mother came into the pharmacy and she has a prescription for amoxicillin 100 milligrams Q12 hours for 10 days. And say you only have on stock is 125 milligrams per 5 ml. So you want to try to use what you have on stock, but you just need to get the correct calculations to see how many mLs the patient will take since we don't have what you know is prescribed. So we always want to do what you have on hand multiply by what you need so i'm going to do 125 milligrams over 5 mls equals to 100 milligrams over x so i'm going to do i'm just going to cross multiply 100 times 5 divide by 125 and that will give me my 4 mls so now that we know how many mls she's going to need per dose we need to find out how many mls total and what size bottle we need to use because if you guys didn't know amoxicillin comes in different size bottles from what i can remember it has like a 50 ml bottle 100 ml 150 and i think it goes up to 175 i'm not quite sure if i can remember if it's, they have a 175 but everything else i do remember but yeah we just need to make sure what size bottle she needs um so we're not wasting so much medication right so we're going to do her 4 mLs time 2 doses and I say 2 because she's taking it every 12 hours. If you do 24 hours in a day divide by 12 that will give you 2 times daily. And I'm going to do times 10 because she's taking it for 10 days and that will give me 80 mLs. So if I was in the pharmacy filling this I would put it in for the 100 mL bottle. So now we're going to talk about IV infusion rates and flow rates. So I kind of don't remember this being on my exam but I do want to just kind of go over it and just show you an example question so i have a one liter iv is administered at a flow rate of 50 ml per hour how long will the iv bag last so just keep in mind that one hour equals 60 minutes and 24 hour equals one day but for this problem you kind of don't need to know that you just need to set the problem up so i do 50 ml over one hour equals to 1000 mls because you know one liter equals 1000 milliliters over x i cross multiply it and that will give me my 20 hours now techies let's talk about calculating day supply so i chose prednisone 10 milligrams if you don't work in a pharmacy you don't get this joke but y'all it is a pain to calculate prednisone not really um, but when they get these prescriptions, I'm like, man, like, do I really have to calculate it? Like, if it's not one of those little packets that already has the day supply and how you're supposed to take it, you really have to calculate it yourself. So I just want to show you guys how we do it or how I used to do it when I worked inside the retail pharmacy. So say a prescription says prednisone 10 milligrams, take 50 milligrams for 5 days, 40 milligrams for 4 days, 20 milligrams for 3 days, and 10 milligrams for 2 days. So to do step by step, for those that haven't seen this type of question before, you want to do your 50 milligrams divide by 10 milligrams and that will give you your 5 tablets. So for the first 5 days, you're taking 5 tablets per day and you want to continue calculating that for your 4 days, for your 3 days and for your 2 days. So once you do that, you're going to know how many tablets you're going to need total. So for the 5 days, you're going to need a total of 25 tablets. For your 4 days, you're going to need a total of 16 tablets. For your 3 days, you're going to need a total of 6 tablets. And for your 2 days, you're going to need a total of 2 tablets. And when you add that all together, you're going to need 49 tablets for a 14-day regimen.
So techies, I had a hard time trying to make up my own problem for drop fraction and infusion rates, but here is the formula for it. So you just do your IV flow rate over your 60 minute per hour times your drop factor. So you're basically just plugging in your question into this formula to get your answer. So next we'll make sure that we know how to solve for the DEA number. We gotta make sure the DEA numbers are valid and they're up to date. So in order to do that, we're gonna add digits one, three, and five, and then you wanna add digits two, four, six, and you will multiply that by two, and you're gonna total that above. You're just gonna add those two numbers together, and whatever last digit of the sum should match. So like you have your DEA number, wherever that last digit, if it matches your total of your last digit, if that makes sense, that means the DEA number is valid. Here are some examples that you guys can go through and get the answer to see if it's valid or invalid. And then the last two things that's in my notes calculation book is calculating related to business and your tic-tac-toe allegations. So I have done a video on those two before, so I'll have the links to those in the description. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this video helps you guys. I'm not sure if I'll make any more math videos. I feel like I made a lot and I'm not quite sure what else you guys would need help with. If you guys do need help with other math, just let's make sure you comment down below so I know. But until then, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, techies.